Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I'm your science teacher. In the last class, we have started the chapter number 3 that is fiber to fabric. And in that class, we have discussed about what are fabrics, what are fibers, yarn, spinning, knitting, ginning, plant fibers, animal fibers, it is natural fiber and synthetic fibers. How we can get the fibers from basically plants and animals, okay? So in this class, we'll do the exercise based on this particular chapter. So let's start. First, but we'll discuss about classify the following fibers as natural and synthetic fibers. Okay, we all know about natural fibers and synth synthetic fibers, right? What are natural fibers? The fibers that are obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers. Whereas what are synthetic fibers? The fibers that we get chemically or are not derived from plants or animals are called synthetic fibers. Okay. So we have to choose whether this is a natural fiber or a synthetic fiber. Okay. Let's do now. So if we are talking about natural fibers, natural fibers. Is nylon a natural fiber? No. Wool. Yes, wool is obtained from the animal. So, it is a natural fiber. Okay, bacho. Next, cotton. Cotton is obtained from the cotton plants. So, it is also a natural fiber. Silk. Silk is also a natural fiber because it is obtained from the animals. Okay. Next, polyester polyester is not any natural fiber okay and the last one jute jute is obtained from the plants okay it is obtained from the stem of the jute plant okay so jute is also a natural fiber okay so jute now we'll discuss about the synthetic fibers so whatever is left are synthetic fibers okay so synthetic fibers are Synthetic fibers, nylon and polyester. Okay, bacho. So, in this way, nylon is a synthetic fiber, wool is a natural fiber, cotton is a natural fiber, silk is a natural fiber, polyester synthetic fiber and jute is also a natural fiber okay but so so next part we'll discuss state whether the following statements are true or false these are the given statements and you have to think whether these statements are true or false okay let's start yarn is made from fibers it is saying that fibers there are fibers and we get yarns from fibers we get yarns from fibers is this true yes it's absolutely true so this is true we get yarns from the fibers okay so this is true next but spinning is a process of making fibers spinning is a process of making fibers no spinning is not a process of making fibers but it is a process of making yarns okay so this is false write down false next question jute is the outer covering of coconut no jute is not a outer covering of coconut but jute is obtained from the stem of the jute plant so it is not the outer covering of coconut so it's false okay but so next We'll discuss about the process of removing seeds from cotton is called ginning. So basically in this statement it is saying that ginning is the process in which we are just separating the seeds from the cotton fibers. Is it right? Yes, it is right because ginning is the process in which we separate the seeds from the cotton fibers by combing. So this is truth. The statement is true. Okay. Next point, weaving of yarn makes a piece of fabric. If we are weaving a yarn, 
then it makes a special kind of or special piece of fabric yes but this is true because in weaving we use the yarns okay to make a piece of fabric okay next but silk fiber is obtained from the stem of the plant is that so i to have heard that silk is a animal fiber but it is saying that it is obtained from the stem of the plant is it right no it's wrong so the answer is false silk is obtained from the animal fiber whereas stem of the plant basically jute is obtained from the stem of the jute plant okay polyester is a natural fiber polyester we get synthetically and it is saying that polyester is a natural fiber no it is not obtained either from plants or from animals okay so this is false okay bachcho so let's discuss the next part in this particular part you have to fill in the blanks okay the first part says plant fibers are obtained from dash and dash plant fibers are obtained from basically plant fibers are cotton and jute okay so these are called plant fibers right so plant fibers are obtained from cotton and jute all right we have to discuss the next part animal fibers are dash and dash silk and wool okay animal fibers are silk and wool all right bachcho so let's move to the next part next part says from which parts of the plant cotton and jute are obtained ye humse puch raha hai ki plant se hame ye to pata hai ki cotton aur jute milte hain lekin plants ke kaun se part se hame cotton and jute milte hain bachcho we get cotton from cotton balls cotton balls are basically the fruits of the cotton plant right so we get cotton from the fruits of the cotton plant all right and we get jute from the stem of the jute plant so jute is basically the stem of the jute plant so just discuss cotton is obtained from the fruit of the cotton plants right cotton are obtained from the fruits of cotton plant okay and jute is obtained from the stem of the jute plant this is just small and little thing we get cotton from the fruits of the cotton plant and we get jute from the stem of the jute plant okay so next part this question says name two items that are made from coconut fiber you have seen the outer covering of coconut right that is called coconut fiber so what are the two things that we make from the cotton fiber ropes and mats from these particular coconut fibers okay so ropes and mats okay bachcho this was all about the exercise of chapter number 3 fiber to fabrics so now we have finished the chapter number 3 you should study at your home okay till then have a nice day bye bye everyone